Hello, Gem Hunter. What if that ugly rock you kicked on the way home yesterday was worth more than your car? Most people would laugh at the idea. After all, who in their right mind would look twice at a rock covered in mud? But that's precisely where the game begins. There's a type of rock that almost everyone despises, but within it may hide one of the most valuable minerals on Earth. While the common eye sees only dirt and weight, the curious eye perceives clues, textures, subtle signs of something rare. And no, this isn't just dreamy minor talk, it's pure science, living history. Several million dollar discoveries began with a simple gesture. Someone bending down to take a closer look. It's curious to think that sometimes what seems worthless is precisely what carries the most authentic brilliance. The problem is that we're so used to judging by appearance that we forget to look closely. So do the following. Leave a like now and subscribe to the channel, because in today's video, you will discover how these ugly stones can completely change the way you look at the ground. While many pass by in a hurry, kicking stones without even noticing what's beneath their feet, there are those who stop, observe, and listen to what the earth is silently trying to say. Nature speaks in discreet tones, in hidden glows, in textures that tell ancient stories. Ever since man learned to look at the ground, he discovered that not everything opaque is without value. Ancient peoples like the Egyptians and the Mayans believed that stones held the energy of the gods and the memory of time, and perhaps they weren't so wrong. There's something deeply symbolic about holding a rock. It's like touching a fragment of eternity. Every fissure, every stain, is a scar left by fire, by pressure, by the patience of the universe. The earth is in no hurry, but it rewards those who know how to wait. And it's curious how, the simpler it appears, the greater the treasure it holds within. Perhaps that's why the ancient sages said, true brilliance is never on the surface. The truth is that what we call ugly rock is just nature's ingenious disguise. Beneath that opaque, irregular crust, the mineral world hides a beauty that the hurried eye would never perceive. It is in these dull rocks that priceless crystals live. Rubies, sapphires, tourmalines, and even diamonds still in the rough, waiting for the right touch to reveal their true colors. The earth, in its millions of years of patience, shapes these jewels with fire, pressure, and time. And the most fascinating thing is that it never announces what it creates. The treasure is born hidden, shrouded in shells, stains, dirt, and mystery. It's as if the planet, tired of superficial glances, has decided to reward only the curious. Beauty doesn't shout, it whispers. And only those who lean in, who observe calmly and respectfully, are able to hear it. Many experienced prospectors claim that the secret isn't to look for beautiful stones, but rather for the ones nobody wants. The ones that seem dull, the irregular, the ones full of cracks. It's in these stones that nature often hides its finest works. Interestingly, this pattern repeats itself throughout history. In 1967, for example, a shepherd in Tanzania found a bluish stone covered in dust. He thought it was a piece of glass and almost threw it away. Years later, the world discovered that he had found the first Tanzanite, one of the rarest gemstones ever recorded. Similar cases have occurred in various parts of the world. Simple people, driven by curiosity, who became discoverers of unimaginable riches. Earth seems to have a kind of cosmic humor, hiding luxury under the guise of simplicity. From a scientific perspective, this phenomenon is one of the greatest wonders of geology. When heat and pressure combine deep underground, minerals begin to organize themselves, forming crystalline structures within ordinary rocks. This process can take millions of years, a silent, precise process that transforms chaos into symmetry, the simple into the extraordinary. The outer layers, often ugly and uneven, are natural shields created to protect the precious interior. Only when erosion, time, or human touch remove this shell does the brilliance appear. And the most beautiful thing is realizing 
that even imperfections tell a story. Cracks, stains, shadows, all are marks of a long journey underground. No crystal is born perfect, but that is precisely what makes it unique. But the true secret of these stones lies not only in the material value they conceal, but in the profound lesson they teach. They show that the essential is rarely revealed immediately. What is raw today can become dazzling tomorrow, if polished with patience and vision. Likewise, there are people, ideas, and opportunities that seem dull at first glance, until they meet the right gaze, the gaze that recognizes potential. The ugly stone is a reminder of life. What truly matters often comes in disguise. Those who learn to see beyond appearances become capable of finding value where the world only sees discarded. This is why the gem hunter doesn't just seek wealth, he seeks perception. And the sharper this gaze becomes, the more the world around him begins to reveal its hidden treasures. Once you understand that ugly rocks can hide treasures, comes the most exciting part, learning to identify them. And you don't need to be a geologist to get started, just a keen eye and a little curiosity. The first step is to observe the texture. Stones that hide gems often have a slightly different surface than others with small cracks, metallic flecks, or a subtle sheen under the light. Try holding them in your hand, turning them in the sun, and looking carefully. If you notice subtle reflections, an unusual coloration, or a translucent part, it's a sign there might be something special there. Always carry a simple jeweler's loop and an LED flashlight in your pocket. They're inexpensive tools that turn any outing into an expedition of discovery. The big difference between those who find them and those who pass by is simply the time dedicated to observing the details. Another secret is knowing where to look. Mineralized gravel sites, riverbanks, hillsides, and areas where the soil has recently been disturbed are veritable treasures waiting for a keen eye. After a heavy rain, for example, the flowing water often removes layers of mud and reveals small distinctive stones. In terrain with a history of volcanic activity, the chances of finding gems like garnets, topaz, and tourmalines increase significantly. Ideally, always carry a geological hammer, a paintbrush, and a small bucket, the essential trio for serious hunters. And it's not just about finding something valuable, but about developing the discoverer's eye, the one who sees possibilities where others only see dirt and dust. The more you practice, the more your instinct sharpens, until the moment your eye recognizes, almost reflexively, what's different. When a stone piques your curiosity, it's time to test it. The first test is hardness. Try scratching the surface with a key, a coin, or a steel blade. If the stone resists, crystallization may be present. Then, observe the weight. Real gemstones are often denser than ordinary rocks. A small trace test also helps. Rub the stone on a porcelain or ceramic surface. If it leaves a colored residue, it could indicate the presence of precious minerals. And of course, use a UV flashlight. Some stones, like fluorite or ruby, react by emitting vibrant glows under ultraviolet light. Practice makes perfect, and the more you test, the faster you learn to distinguish the ordinary from the extraordinary. Remember, the true gem hunter doesn't rely on luck, but on knowledge. The secret isn't just finding it, but understanding its value. Every stone, even the roughest, carries a geological and symbolic history. Therefore, always note the location, date, and soil type where you found it. This creates a valuable record for future analysis. And treat each find with respect, even if it seems unimportant. Clean it with running water, Store it carefully and photograph it under different lights. Little by little, you'll realize that the process is as valuable as the result. Because the true treasure isn't just the gem, it's the eye that learns to see the invisible. And if you've made it this far, it's a sign that you've already begun to develop this rare vision. Now get ready. What comes next will expand this horizon. Now that you understand that not every ugly stone is just a worthless piece of rock, you might be wondering, but if I find one of these, 
How will I know if it's truly a rare gem? And that's exactly the question that separates the curious from the true treasure hunters. Because identifying a gemstone isn't just a matter of luck, but of knowing what to look for, what signs to look for, and most importantly, what to knowing your. Sometimes it's a small internal glow that betrays the presence of crystals. Other times it's a different texture, an unexpected density, or even the way the stone reacts to light. These are details that the common eye would never notice, but which, for those who know the secrets of the earth, signify fortune. And the most surprising thing is that anyone can learn to see this. All it takes is a little knowledge, patience, and curiosity. So if you want to take the next step and learn how to identify when an ordinary stone might actually be a precious gem in disguise, don't leave just yet. The video now appearing on your screen will show you exactly what to look for. You'll discover the visual and tactile signs that betray rubies, sapphires, and other gems hidden in the most unlikely stones. So, before you head off on your next hike, or visit that river again, click and learn to look with the eyes of a treasure hunter. And if this content has awakened in you the same fascination that drives true explorers of nature, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This way, you'll continue learning how to turn curiosity into discovery. And who knows, your next ugly rock might be the beginning of an incredible story. Sometimes life is like the soil that hides gems, full of stones that seem worthless. But when viewed with patience and curiosity, reveal unexpected brilliance. What seems ordinary today can actually be extraordinary. It just takes the right perspective to discover it. Every ugly stone, every rough moment, every opaque challenge carries hidden potential, waiting for the moment someone decides to see beyond the surface. It's the same with gems, and it's the same with people, with dreams, and with the very journey of those who seek them. Being a gem hunter is more than finding wealth. It's learning to see the invisible, to value what the world ignores. Because true discovery doesn't happen when the stone shines, but when you learn to recognize it, even when it's still covered in dirt. Keep observing, learning, and believing. The next jewel may be exactly where no one else has dared to look. If you felt inspired to start your own hunt, here's an invitation. Comment now. I see the hidden sparkle. If you want to learn how to identify rare gems like a true hunter, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any tips. Every gesture of curiosity, every detailed observation, increases your chances of finding something extraordinary. Share it with friends who love to explore or who still ignore what's hidden in plain sight. Remember, the world rewards those who observe carefully and act strategically. Magic lies in transforming the ordinary into something extraordinary, and each stone you find is a step on that journey. Keep practicing, observing, and learning. The more you exercise your hunter's eye, the more opportunities arise. So click, explore, practice, and above all, cultivate the eye that sees beyond the obvious. The next time you encounter an ugly rock in your path, remember, perhaps it's just waiting for the right look to reveal its hidden brilliance. Each rock carries stories of pressure, fire, time, and patience. And the simpler it appears, the greater the secret it holds. It's nature teaching us that value is rarely found in appearance, but in what few have the patience to observe. And as you learn to recognize these signs, your gaze becomes more attentive, more sensitive, almost as if you have a sixth sense for discovery. Now take a look at the video that's playing on your screen. How to tell if a common stone is actually a precious gemstone. There you'll learn to spot subtle signs and recognize hidden gems in stones that at first glance seem ordinary. Curiosity is the key that transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary. And patience is what separates those who see hidden treasures from those who pass by. Keep exploring, questioning, observing, because the world still holds many secrets awaiting you. See you later, Gem Hunter.